Zygu, Shagu, however you want to say their name, reveals a brand new G106 QRP HF radio. Compliments of the Radiotity website. We're going to look at it right now. Good afternoon. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB on this channel, Ham Radio 2.0. We do reviews, news, and how-tos of lots of things that are new in amateur radio, and I love talking about newly revealed or just rumored revealed type radios and whatnot. So Zygu has released the reveal of this brand new G106 uh, 5-watt QRP SDR transceiver for HF. Uh, it was on Radio Oddity's website, and I'll show that to you here in a second. I, I'm on their emailing list. I'm on I'm on everybody's emailing list. And I got this email from Radio Oddity. They're taking pre-orders for it right now. They're actually sold out of the pre-order right now. If you check this out, it says Zygu G106 SDR HF transceiver 5-watt QRP radio, single sideband CW AM and wide FM. Presumably wide FM only works on... 10 meters, maybe 6, I'm not sure if it has 6 meters, we'll find out in a second, supports FT8, so I'm, and, and data mode, so I'm, from that I'm kind of guessing that it's got a built-in sound card to do digital modes, WS, JTX, and all that, which will be really cool, I like the shoulder strap on it, that's kind of a neat, uh, kind of a neat looking thing, and I think we can get, yeah, a little bit bigger there. Okay, so that's as big as I can make it right there, but it's got the mic port there on the front next to the screen, the big tuning knob over on the far right-hand right side. This smaller silver knob on the top left presumably is the volume knob. It's got a uh, top-firing speaker, So, but but the radio, the, the, the shoulder strap on it's cool because that means you can just kind of like walk down the beach with it, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you'd put the antenna on it. I you could probably turn it upside down and stick the antenna straight out the top of it. Kind of kind of a neat idea. Zygu has been turning out some pretty decent products for a while now. They have a I think this one just because of the number. They have an X105G that looks like it might be sort of like the predecessor to this one or this one's kind of like the continuation of that one. It's got um the 105G is one of their older models that is still produced last I checked. There's still a lot of people selling them. You can buy them on AliExpress and on Amazon, eBay, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, their newest model, the X6100, has done really well. It had some bugs in it early on, but a lot of lot of firmware updates have been coming out for that, so they've been supporting that one really well. With the exception of the G-Sock, most of their radios have been doing very well. The G-Sock wasn't actually a radio. So the G90, uh, uh, yeah, the, the Zygu G90 is one of the most popular HF radios out there right now because it does do 20 watts. It's small, compact, and it's less than 500 bucks most days. So let's just read about this a little bit. Uh, the G106 is a 5-watt portable QRP radio with SDR circuit structure using 16-bit codec sampling, which can provide superior performance. Make that a little bit bigger. The whole device is with single sideband CW AM, three modes, and an extra WFM WFM. Oh, so that's so okay. So WFM to mean to me means wideband FM, which is what we use for repeaters in ham radio, and we do have six meter and ten meter repeaters in ham radio. But then this lists out eighty eight to one hundred eight megahertz, so that's broadcast FM. Uh, it has that, so it, it receives broadcast FM, allowing you to listen to local FM broadcast while communicating. Equipped with the CW digital filter with three bandwidths, it can help you connect to more radio stations with the external DE19 digital adapter optional. It can be easily connected to a computer and complete FD8. Okay, so it needs a DE19. The 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 little octagon-shaped adapter that you use to connect the, both the G90 and the X5100 and a couple other models of Zygu is called a CE19 adapter. You don't need that with the X6100 because it has its own built-in sound card, but apparently, according to this, you need an adapter to go between the radio and the computer. So it doesn't have a built-in sound card. That's kind of a kind of a miss, but okay, we'll keep reading. As an entry-level portable SDR transceiver, G106 will be ideal choice for to operate CW and FTA. Maybe not ideal choice for FTA if you need an extra piece in between the radio and the computer, but that's just my opinion. High out or high performance SDR core circuit 
transmission reception of all amateur bands from 3.8 to 29. Okay, so it does 10 to 80. 10 to 80 meters. That's that's what that is. It does not do 6 meters. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't do 160. And that's okay, too. Same thing with the... That's basically the same range of bands that the Elecraft KX2 has. 10 to 80 meters. So it'll receive 0 0.55 to 30 megahertz. And then on um, broadcast band FM, it'll transmit on all these bands here. Operating mode, receiving sensitivity. Frequency stability is plus or minus 1.5 ppm within 30 minutes after powering on. Okay. Audio output power is, I assume that means a speaker. The speaker is 0 0.3 watts. That doesn't seem very, like a very loud speaker. Transmitting power is up to 5 watts at 13.8 volt DC. Spurious suppression is greater than or equal to 50 dB. The weight it was about 720 grams with just the host, so just the radio by itself without accessories. Dimensions is uh, 120 by 40 by 135 millimeters. Okay. Okay, the shoulder strap is for display only. Finally equipped accessories have not been decided yet. We're communicating with Zygu for more details. Okay, all right. Well, hey, put your own shoulder strap on it because you can get those all over Amazon all day long. They were taking one dollar like a placeholder thing for this, but they're sold out of it. So I don't know. You, can, I don't know what the timing of the next round will be. You can get notified when it's available by signing up for their email address right here. I've already done that. Here's what it looks like. There's what it looks like from the side. It does have mounting holes on the side for a, a mobile type bracket, so you could put it in a car or you could put it on in like a backpack, one of these backpacks that that it mounts in. There's the front of it again. No pictures with the, the screen powered on. So that is the newest offering from Zygu. 5-watt QRP transceiver SDR. Maybe a predecessor to the 105 or the 108G, whichever one it was. They, they, have, they have several models. The X1M is one of their earlier ones. It's real small. The X5100 is still in production as far as I know. The X108G. But this is their newest offering, and the, they're kind of pitching it as a FT8 slash... CW rig, even though it will do single sideband. I'd be interested to see what this DE19 data card looks like. They don't give a picture of that, and the CE19 is the one that the prior versions of Zygu radios use, so it's probably something similar. It requires a couple of cables to go in between the radio and the device, and then the device uh, to the computer, presumably via USB. So we'll see what happens with that. Who's heard about this? Have you got any more information than what's on Radio Oddity's website? Uh, who's looking forward to it? Put a comment below. Let me know what you think about... about Do, do you own a Zygu now? Do you own a Zygu radio at all now? Um, which model? What do you think about it? Are you happy enough with it to look at Zygu's newest offerings as they come out today and in the future as well? Put a comment below. Thanks for watching today.